Hello friends, this is Dark Scream, and welcome back to another episode of Dragonflight Crafting for Dummies. Although really, this isn't too much about Dragonflight. So this is a update that snuck in on patch 10.0.7. It looked like it kind of came with the Zul'Gurub updates, but it's actually not part of those updates. So, if you are a collector like me, and I go ahead and show on screen here how many recipes I've collected at this point, uh, it's something you do if you've played the game a long time, right? Open for business. Uh, you would know, of course, there's a lot of Cataclysm and Old World Gem recipes, and a lot of them are tied to really annoying Safe daily travels. quests, where you, you only get one token per daily quest, and you can't, you can't even just get uh, gems sometimes. You have to, like, go out and hunt a mob to a do one. the quest as well. So they're really time-consuming and annoying, and... You know, if you want to collect all these recipes, there was really no way to, to get it done really fast other than, you know, just keep grinding your dailies. Now, there's been a change added in this patch. You can see here that I've actually got a bunch of Cataclysm junk in my bags. And this is because there's a new reagent and new currency that's been added. We have the Illustrious Gem Dust and the Illustrious Jewel Crafters token. So Blizzard snuck in a new around. recipe here. If we go to our Cataclysm Jewel Crafting, you can see that actually uh, there's a new recipe that's been added and it looks like the old prospecting has been revamped as well. So we now have Cataclysm Crushing and Cataclysm Prospecting and you can actually go ahead and select an ore and the UI has kind of been updated to function kind of like Dragonflight Prospecting does. No longer will you have to have a stupid macro where you press the button repeatedly, no longer will you do mass prospecting for each individual ore. It's now a nice all-in-one UI, but they also added the ability to crush Cataclysm gems. And it's not a particularly fast recipe, and unfortunately I haven't found a way to speed it up. The uh, aerated flask of quick hands does not speed up this crafting. But crushing these gems, uh, you get one to two gem dust for the common gems. You get, I think it's three to five for the rare, the blue gems. And then uh, you can also crush these epic gems, which only come from Dragon Soul. If you have the currency, you can buy them. You get a currency from the bosses. So uh, they crush pretty well, too. I think they turn into five or six. It takes ten of these dust to buy one token. Fortunately, you can't shift click it either. You have to manually go through and buy them. It's a real pain. However, this is pretty nice. This lets you get these illustrious jewel crafting tokens. You pretty much just throw money at the problem. Now, what are these recipes good for? Why am I doing this? Well, other than just collecting them and increasing my total recipe count, a lot of these gems are good for like time walking and mage tower type scenarios. You have a lot of variety. You can get two secondary stats. You can get armor and stamina. Uh, there's some that have, I think, primary stat, especially where you See have you uh, old Good equipment that may have multiple gem slots. Like, if you take a look here, oh, these are only one gem slot, but still, some of these recipes are still what you want to acquire. And there's quite a lot of these that are needed. You know, it's a it's a few hundred of these tokens to get all the recipes done. That now, once you one. work your way through the common and the older Cataclysm recipes, you can move on you to the final raid tier. Uh, these ones are associated, like I said, with Dragon Soul. Now, they're five apiece, but they've also gone ahead and added the Tome of Burning Jewels. So you can do a random learn for only four tokens, lets you get through that a little more efficiently. So this, all in all, is a really nice uh, of course, you are going to spend some time on it here. You have to cataclysm crush your gems. It takes some time. So you probably want to look at the prices of these materials right now. And they are selling for these prices to be too. Two uh, because old. collectors like me, they don't want to fart around with a daily quest for months. You can see some of these gems, these common gems. Uh, well, we've got some up cheap right now, but they were pushing 20 and 30 gold earlier. The rare gems pushing up to uh, 75, 80, sometimes even 100 gold. And then the epic gems, which I don't have any in my bags now, but let's say, let's look at uh, Shadow Spinel. A few hundred gold a piece, right? So it doesn't seem to matter which gem route you go. It's going to be pretty expensive to do this, but you are a collector. Time is money, friend, right? So what this will allow me to do, of course, if we go to my unlearned in Cataclysm uh, recipes, there's a whole host of different gem cuts. So just a quick tip, 
Uh, one other thing I want to mention, this isn't directly related to the Zulgarub uh, farm that's been added. Some of those old world recipes have come back that way as well. But when you were doing that, uh, some of the mobs in that dungeon drop a bag that will give you some cataclysm materials. You get some elementium ore, uh, maybe some gems. Uh, you might also be going to do some of the BFA phases of the zones, and if you're on a tune with Gathering, you know, you might see some Pyrite or some Elementium Ore out there. Pick that up, because the prices of the ore have also kind of gone crazy. Uh, right now, you're making more gold per hour off have Elementium Ore. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at so least take two cents. 23 gold apiece. That's pretty darn expensive. I believe uh, Ceravites down at 5, Draconium's down at 10. Now one unfortunate thing, um, See you around. the new gem dust, the illustrious gem dust is not sellable. So uh, if you're going to make some profit off this, you want to sell the gems or j maybe even just sell the ore. Check your bank. If you have some uh, elementium, some obsidium, you might have some free gold you can make. Uh, another thing you can look at if you're an older player or if you've uh, farmed out dragon soul for some of the mounts and the transmogs, you may actually have some Moat of Darkness. So what you can do with the Moat of Darkness, it only has one use. There's a vendor in the Dragon Soul raid where you can trade one of these for an epic gem. Now those epic gems are pretty good crushing. They yield like three to five gem dust, kind of like the high level gems in Dragonflight. Uh, some of them sell pretty well though, especially the red one. Uh, because it's used, again, in some of those time-walking and mage tower scenarios. So, something to keep an eye out, though, if you have a bank of this old currency. I've been running this on my alts to farm some mounts, so some of them may be able to cash these out for free. It's a little secret cataclysm jewel crafting revamp. You can throw money at the problem to obtain all these old recipes if you haven't collected them. That's something you're interested in doing. It's also a great opportunity for gold makers. You can go out to some of the old zones like Deep Palm and Uldum. Go mining. Pick up some of that ore because on the region-wide auction house right now, people can't get enough of this stuff. The prices on it just keeps going up. So if you want to make a quick buck, it might actually be more profitable to go mining in Cataclysm Zones than it is in Dragonflight Zones right now. If you're enjoying these crafting tip videos, remember to give us a like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Again, my name is Darkscream. This has been Dragonflight Crafting for Dummies. Peace.